on the X Factor and you don't really think when you look down the lens that there's 22 million people looking at you. When you go into massive arenas around the UK and Ireland, it, come, it becomes real then. What we were aiming for when we were on the X Factor was, was there in front of us. When I was on it, I was thinking this could be us on our own tour in possibly two years time. It's all a little bit surreal when you're finally making your album because it's, it's what you wanted to do and then you're finally doing it. It was a weird one because none of us had ever recorded an album, recorded a single, been in a studio before. I have that feeling. Yeah, have that feeling. Because now it sounds like you're driving the track as opposed to you. And we really had to decide what kind of band we were going to be. We had to be kind of strong on our points as well with like the record label and people like that. We've been given a lot of freedom to say this is what we want to sound like, so we thought, you know, we've got to push for that, because otherwise this isn't going to work, it's got to come from us. You just hit me, left behind, can't stand the thought of a being mine, get the hell out of my mind. I remember the release date kept going backwards and backwards and backwards in the diary, and I was just thinking, this can't happen, it's not, it's not good, we need to get something out now for them, them to have. We're pretty proud of the album that we have, and hopefully it goes on to do Big things. Yeah. I'd love to come back and like say that we had not necessarily a number one, but a hit in a foreign country. Yeah, that'd that be amazing. Be really, really, really good. Really good. If you think about it, what is the worst thing that's happened this year? What would you say was the hardest part? Steps got back together. <laughs> it's weird to see how much you can fit into a year. Like how much stuff you can do and how how different your life can become in such a short space of time. At, at the moment, Dave, we are feeling like top of the world. This whole year couldn't have gone any better. I wake up so many mornings feeling so lucky and so grateful to be where we are. You can't, you can't wish for things like this. You can't ever sit and imagine that you'd actually get to do this. If I had to call it a job, then this is my job and I love my job. I'm more proud of myself that I've been able to do something like this and kind of stick to it and just kind of be here and be able to list all these achievements because there's, there's not a lot of people that will get to do that and I consider myself very lucky to be where I am. It's, it's quite strange to think about that the thing I want most is actually one of my biggest fears, like for us to take over the world and be that huge boy band. At the same time, being known on such a wide scale is a huge fear because you'll never be able to be the same person ever again. I travel around going through different experiences every single day with four of my best friends who I didn't know two years ago and now are as close as brothers. With the boys, they're going through exactly the same thing you're going through and we can literally talk to each other about anything, anything. And I think that's, that's, that's a special thing. I just want to be this for the rest of my life. Yeah, we've had a good year, but no one can say that we've actually succeeded yet. Until we're passed away and people are still playing our records and people are still buying our music, that's, that's when you'll know that you've done well. And I just hope that when we look, I hope that when we look back in however many years, when we're granddads and we look back on the band and I just hope that we look back on it and think we had the most amazing time and, and actually that we stayed true to ourselves. <laughs>